Hello, welcome back to Project Air again this week. I'm James, and in this video, we're going to be building a couple of hydrofoils like this one here. For a while now, I've been in serious need of a rescue boat to retrieve stranded projects, such as the ground effect Acrano plan that I built and got stuck last year. To make building a rescue boat a bit more interesting, and because many of you in the comments have been telling me to build one for ages, I decided to have a go at creating some sort of hydrofoil to investigate the concept of hydrodynamic lift vehicles. Studying some historical examples, you can really see how hydrofoils were supposed to be the next big thing. They made passenger craft much faster, ferries could ride above the waves, while smaller speedboats could pretty much fly straight over the wake of larger ships. So I find it quite interesting that hydrofoils aren't widely adopted for all forms of boats and ships today. I thought perhaps this project might shed some light on why not every sea craft is a hydrofoil. In this video you will see how I came up with two separate hydrofoils over the course of a few months, one made quickly as a prototype from foam and the second to be more of a laser cut wooden beast of a machine made to last for many missions to come. So first off here's how I built the Mark 1. When it came to designing the Mark 1, I decided to start by making the lifting wings of the boat, the hydrofoils themselves. I quickly decided that the 3D printed foil was probably the best way to go as I wanted to make sure that the part was quick to make, sturdy and not too buoyant. Helpfully, a few people online have shared their designs for hydrofoil boats, such as this guy on Thingiverse. I took the foil parts from his boat and modified them a little for my purpose. All credit for the foils and elevator parts on my boats go to him. I'll leave a link in the description so you can check out and download his hydrofoil if you like. A basic hull shape was drawn up by hand on some paper templates and cut out from a mixture of flight test waterproof foam board and Depron. This was a really quick way to mock up the boat and it just so happened that the eventual shape ended up looking rather like the new Tesla Cybertruck as many people have pointed out in the comment section of my Instagram progress photos. To power the boat I recycled a twin contrast a rotating motor setup that I had previously used on one of my hydroplanes. This uses two brushless motors mounted to a carbon fibre tube that run small 5 to 6 inch air propellers. A bunch of other 3D printed parts were printed out to hold the motor pylon in place and to assemble a pretty nifty rudder setup. Basically the rudder on this boat is also a working elevator, similar to that on an aeroplane, so that you can raise or lower the nose at will. With this rough boxy prototype finished, it was time for a first test run to see if the foils would actually lift the boat out of the water on the very first try. First time it's ever been on water, hopefully it doesn't uh, sink. Ah. Seems quite buoyant. Oh no. <laughs> I think I got it stuck already. Okay, so it floats. Now let's uh, do a bit of uh, maneuvering to see if uh, it has any a degree of maneuverability. Yeah, it looks quite uh, quite maneuverable. I'm thinking that uh, it's going to have no problem sort of uh, steering around the lake. So this has only got the small battery on it. Oh, it seemed to seem to nose down quite a lot then. So it definitely seemed to pitch down when I increased the throttle. I'm not sure if that's because of the high propellers. Might have to adjust the angle of the uh, of the elevator. Yeah, so that definitely seemed like oh, I've got stuff in my head. That definitely seemed like when I was increasing the throttle, it was pitching the nose down. So I think what we're going to do is change the default angle of attack on the uh, elevator. That was cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a good feeling when it actually works. So yes, it did actually work, which was great. However, there were clearly a few obvious issues with the balance. As you can see here, the hydrofoil was extremely tail heavy, meaning the front foils came as far out of the water as possible and bounced along the surface at full throttle. It wasn't very efficient, but it was a lot of fun to mess around with.
Yep, it wasn't all that fast though. Time to build the Mark II. Although the Mark I was pretty reliable as a rescue boat, proving itself during our Dam Busters video when the trusty little boat retrieved some of our 3D printed bouncing barrels from the lake by grabbing them with its hydrofoils, I thought I could improve on a few things. Sitting down for a few sessions on Adobe Illustrator, I quickly sketched up some blueprints for a second iteration of the old design. I designed a skeleton of the boat this time, which slotted together using tabs. I then got started on the laser cutting using some spare 3mm plywood to make the first hull parts. If you're wondering, I do actually have a website where I share my designs for free. If you're interested, make sure to also visit my Patreon and you can support me while getting a chance to help me develop my projects as they happen. I'll be making sure to post some links in the description, so yeah, check that out. Each of the parts were glued together with some extra support pieces here and there. It didn't take long to have a solid frame ready for cladding. Before this though, I made sure to fully waterproof the inside of the boat while I could at this stage. For this I used some model aircraft dopes and varnishes, which can fully seal wood against the elements. For the motors on this particular version of the boat, I went for a twin setup again with Flight Test's new Radial A motors, which are very powerful and can easily run a 4S setup. Next I finished cladding up the upper part of the boat and did some freehand drawings here and there just to sort of come up with side panel dimensions. If you do have a go at building this boat you'll also have to do this as I didn't take the time to design every single panel of the boat using trigonometry and other fancy maths which I'm historically not all that great at getting right first time. To seal the outside of the boat, I used some sanding sealer which left a smooth finish ready for some paint. And with that, the Mark II was done. Time for a second test. Okay, so the boat is now finished. Uh, it's ready to go. And I think we're gonna just check it on the water and see what happens, really. Right, it's not got much steering authority. Whoa, okay. Well, it comes out of the water. Wow, it wants to roll so much. It feels so much more unstable than the last one. It seems like when it gets out of the water, it really wants to twist around. Whoa. Oh man. Okay, slight problem. It's being blown towards the overflow. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna try and retrieve it. Uh, I'm gonna get wet shoes. On second thoughts, I'm gonna try and drive it back. There we go. Oh, safe. Okay, I think it's time to put it on the water again and see if we can get any better performance out of it. Maybe it's my fault. I've just not got used to controlling it. Some water just hit the uh, prop, and I think it's no, the boat isn't steering properly anymore. So once more, the boat was blown dangerously close to the overflow, meaning I had to stage another rescue mission. Okay, I've got it stuck again, but I think I know what the problem is now. The main issue I found was with the wind blowing down the lake, hitting the side of the hydrofoil as it got higher and higher out of the water. This coupled with a fairly low range of movement from the rudder meant that I couldn't easily counteract the roll caused by the wind. I think what's needed is for me to come back on a calmer day to properly balance the boat out, perhaps by moving the heavy batteries further down the hull. If you have any suggestions, make sure to leave them in a comment down below. Like the video on your way out and subscribe if you are new, of course. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you on the next video in the new year. So see you then. My knees are like, I'll just do some <laughs> lunge. Wait, hang on.